greetings. The non-compliant sovereign. I like to use the word yeah, suffering because it seems to, to irritate the public servants out there, the public trustees out there, because they like to purport themselves as being sovereign when there is no such thing in their capacity, no such thing, no immunity when you're outside of law. Now it says a binding contract, the Bill of Rights. We said Jamaica Constitution as amended by assent, 7 to the 8th April 2011, is the supreme law of Jamaica and all other laws are secondary to it and depend upon it. This includes, but is not limited to the executive, legal standards or acts, uniform commercial codes, or any other colorful laws being imposed upon the native islanders who are the sovereigns. If any other law is inconsistent with this constitution this constitution shall prevail and the other law shall to the extent of the inconsistency be void in its application to the sovereign people of this north american continental island Now it's a rule of law, chapter three, Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms. Section 13, Fundamental Rights and Freedoms says, number one, whereas the state, meaning the institution of government, has an obligation to promote universal respect for and observance of human rights and inherent freedoms. All persons, man or woman, in Jamaica are entitled to preserve for themselves and future generations the fundamental rights and freedoms to which they are entitled you hear that probably our document are the only one we are said this way so we are entitled by virtue of their inherent dignity as man or woman and as political citizens of a free and democratic society political or non-political citizens. Yeah, for free and democratic society. So presumption call them of a despotic governance in place. All persons, man or woman, are under a responsibility to respect and uphold the rights of others recognized in this chapter 3. Parliament shall pass no law and no organ of the state, whether it's judicial, executive, or legislative, None of these organs shall take any action which abridges, abrogates, or infringes upon the people's fundamental rights and freedom, which are guaranteed 
by this document, secured by this document, not granted. This is why it says we are entitled. We are not granted anything. We are entitled. It's inherent. This is our absolute right to be free. It says the following provisions always taken the consideration when I say the word provisions because it's fa it facilitates you know, say, uh, how would I put it now? The directions then. You know what I mean? Where it probably be a little bit more specific when it will break down the provisions. So it says, the provisions of this chapter 3 shall have effect for the purpose of affording protection to the rights and freedoms of the persons, the rights and freedom of persons, man or woman, as set out in those provisions to the extent that those rights and freedom do not prejudice the rights and freedom of others. Now, taking into consideration that slavery is outlawed, this is why the man or woman have a duty to exercise their free will Yeah, man. to choose to participate in a political community or not to participate. These are free will exercise. This is why we have to share this kind of information over and over again so the people or common people can be aware of what is in place. Don't just take my word for it, but type up in the Google or any search engine so you can ascertain the document. But most of it now can go downtown or wherever. We can find a library where we have this kind of information freely available. And they do not teach constitution law, which is the law, supreme law. They do not teach these things in the school. In fact, up until probably 2019, most Jamaicans had no idea that, that they have any rights at all. They have any duty to exercise their fundamental rights and freedom. They were totally unaware of it. This is why I think the place is so chaotic. because they are imposing all different kind of private laws, legal standard guise as laws, where it does not apply to the sovereign. And when I say sovereign, I mean the man or woman and child who chose to be. Yeah, man. So it says the rights and freedom referred to in this subsection to are as followed. The right to life, liberty, and security of the person, and the right not to be deprived thereof, except in the execution of a sentence of a court, except in the execution of the sentence of a court in respect of a criminal offense of which the man or woman has been convicted. So the only way them can take away whatever rights that is naturally yours inherently, which you are entitled to, is if by some execution of a sentence so that means that uh, you have to already be convicted for them take away these things you understand so you can't just say you are charged me with a criminal offense and you take from a property and you take with all of these things it doesn't work like that that i went and i move in an arbitrary way when i go in front of the law when i 
totally a discard the rule of law, which is the constitution where say oh, no, no, have no right without due process of law. When you have stop a man, you must have probable cause. You understand? You know, the stop a man to you, you know, and police cast you, man, and say, boy, you have a big gun, you have authority, you know, you have power. The only thing you may have is authority, and the only thing we give authority is the gun where you have. Because security guard wear costume looking just like yours. And this is why when we request your credential for the record for inspection, then on to present it so we know who and what you people are. You guys do not want to be held accountable for your unlawful actions out there. But if people do not know the rights they have and do not know what constitutes law, supreme law, then this is why, again, our place is like this. Our judiciary is like this. Our people is like this. Void of correct knowledge. Void of truth. Yeah, man. Void of discipline. Yeah. Because the institution of government choose not to properly educate its populace. Yeah, man. So you can just See a man and take when care and say, boy, I'm supposed to have license and registration and all of these fallacious things that is contrary to the Constitution as amended by Assent 2011. Yeah, man. The Constitution, which is the supreme law of the land, do not support that kind of arbitrary conduct or action. And this is why we challenge your jurisdiction, challenge your authority and control, challenge whatever position you're claiming out there. Because you act as are committing fraud. The moment you're outside of the law, which is constitutional, nothing to do with your legal standards or your uniform commercial codes, which are all color of law. So if the people them do not know, then they have a problem out there. The people have a right to freedom of thought, conscience, belief, and observance of political doctrines. This is why when them choose to be GLP and PMP, that are for them choice. They have that right. And then a man like me to be can choose to be outside of all of that. Totally ignore that nonsense. We have that right. Yeah, man, right to seek, receive, distribute, or dis disseminate information, opinions, and ideas through any media. You have those rights, people. Now, let them tell you about you know, right for talk and them want to charge you for indecent language. Where is that in the Constitution? What constitutes indecent language? How do you define a language being indecent and our people accept these things because attorneys are participating in the enslavement corruption and pollution of the people here on this island you have freedom of speech so when an executive body impose some kind of different kind of act to restrict 
your speech, then he's outside a law. And whatever act them implement is void. Because it's going to restrict your freedom of conscience, your freedom of expression, and your freedom of speech. So this is how we have to challenge these people. Yeah, you can choose to challenge these people or continue to subject yourself to these people's will. God, these people are more criminal than the criminals who are unaware of right and wrong out there. Yeah, man. The people will occupy the office as institution of government. It's like them can do whatever it is they choose to do, including unaliving people. And they get away with it. There is no consequence or constraint on these people's action. They are saying they are immune. So we have to become cognizant of what constitutes law. So we can hold these political criminals accountable for their criminal conduct. Yeah, man. You have the right to freedom of peaceful, peaceful assembly and association. That means so them can tell you they don't get up and discuss one on one, discuss or create whatever organization you choose to create. You have the right to freedom of movement. That is to say, the right of every man or woman of Jamaica and our citizen to enter Jamaica and of every man or woman lawfully in Jamaica to move around freely throughout Jamaica, to reside in any part of Jamaica and to leave Jamaica. The right to equality, equity before the law, the right to equitable and humane treatment by any public authority in the exercise of any function or duty. Again, let me repeat that. You have a right to equitable and humane treatment by any public authority, included but not limited to the police service commission in the exercise of any functions or their duty or their operations. So when they mark disrespect the people, violate the people, then no them are break laws out here. And again, when me are speaking, you can't be criminal and think this thing apply to you. Again, the only time them can really restrict these laws from you is when them can convict you as a criminal in their Supreme Court. And the moment them do that, that's when them can, you know, take away whatever so-called rights them are set, them can take. But the moment them only accuse you or I give you a charge, yeah, man, them not supposed to interfere with the witness. Them not supposed to confiscate their property. Them not supposed to do nothing like these things what them are do, which is unlawful, illegal in a freedom world. Yeah, because them are remove due process. Them are purport themselves as the law, totally a discard the constitution, which is the supreme law. So they might come with individual law opposed to the supreme law that is written. And there's a charter or a contract that bind these agents to an oath by their office what I'm supposed to uphold and adhere to. And the moment I'm the outside of these things, there's no immunity 
this is why we share so much information to say we are not here to bring her to her arm. But just a natural process of things are going to indict you people by your own conduct, by your own actions or inactions, by your own commissions or omissions. This is how you people shall be judged. Your very own instruments shall be used to indict you. Your very own information, it's yours. This is why the Constitution is in place, because it restricts and constrains the arbitrary conduct of the people occupying the office of institution of government. So whether it's the parliamentarian, whether it's the prime minister and I'm executive branch, whether it's Judge Sykes in his judicial branch, you're all public servants out there. And you all choose to do so and be so. And you won't be able to operate without a bond or insurance. You won't be able to operate without that oath of office and operating lawfully. This is why we request for you to identify the parties. Who are you people? Present your credential for inspection on the record. And when you fail to do so, again, perpetrating fraud upon the court as public servant, when you're asked to identify yourself in your public capacity and in your private capacity, make no difference. Because your association is private. Yeah, man, I want to impose on a private acts upon the public only because the people weren't taught the distinction between what is legal and what is lawful and what is legal is not necessarily lawful. There's a distinct difference, but for some reason, you know, with word wizardry, people are deceived. So when I'm, you know, when a minor express herself and say clarity, clarity, the people have right to freedom from discrimination on the grounds of being a male or female, or race, place of origin, social class, color, religion, or political opinion. The right of everyone to protection from search of their person and property. Hear that? The right of everyone to protection from search of their person and property. Respect for and protection of private and family life and privacy at the home. So no man not for running out your house and I talk to you and I go on and I go on like say, you know, them can because them have on a uniform and gun and say them a police, them supposed to talk to you any anyway. You run them when them out of order. The moment them come respectful, then you demonstrate and show them that respect because it's professional. But from them are more unprofessionally. Yeah, man, you just shut them down and close your place and make them have to break it down and you go through the courts and make them have to pay eventually, losing their job in the process. God, these guys keep forgetting that they are employees, all of them, irrespective of the amount of lives that you have taken or the amount of money you earn taking those lives. You're still a public employee. Yeah. And you can lose that work just like any other public employer, employees. I saw it go. 
this is why I now for maintaining a professionalism. It really makes sense. As a professional, irrespective of what the unprofessional are do and are going with, you are fermenting the professionalism. You know what I mean? You're not okay and jump out of your little place and act like them. Can I remember? The training where you have them not have. Sometimes the experience where you have them not have. So you have to maintain your professionalism. Yes, sir. No, sir. How are you doing, madam? And when them bore you, you know about to bore them up when you're a professional. Yeah, man. You take an oath, you know, to the Constitution, you know, to observe and have respect to the human dignity of the people. It's not to protect property and corporation. Yeah, man, the human inherent dignity as man and woman, that's the highest. This is why they have the supreme law, where the Bill of Rights secure the freedom of the people. So when people talk about constitution, I like to be specific because I can't do anything I want to do with an organization. But within that construct, you have to have provision where you secure the man and the woman who choose not to participate. And even in the participation, there's rule of law that govern these conduct. And the arbitrariness of this present governmental institutional system is despotic. Yeah, it's authoritarian. Yeah. But I guess if the people don't know what these things are, they won't be able to express it. Yeah, man. So again, here we are. Now what's a crime is the intentional commission of an unlawful act usually deemed socially harmful or dangerous and specifically defined, prohibited, and punishable under criminal law. So this is what crime constitutes. So when the traffic police are commit a crime, that's fallacy. Because a crime is the intentional commission of an unlawful act. And I, traveling in my land, exercising my freedom of movement, is not an unlawful act. And your legality now applies here. So the legality now in the Constitution has been lawful. And this is why we now have a problem of speaking and share information, challenging you people this way. You know what I mean? So other people can go look and go learn. We're not criminal doing this. We're not breaking the laws doing this. You understand? But this is what people fear. Truth. Yeah, man. It's a, intention is one of the most important general principle of criminal law that the sovereign normally cannot be convicted of a crime without having intended to commit the criminal act in question. With a few exceptions, the sovereign does not need to know that the act itself is a crime, as ignorance of the law is no excuse for criminal behavior. Thus, if the sovereign believes that an act is perfectly lawful and intentionally performs that act, the legal requirements of the criminal intention must be proven as unlawful. Now, But that's again a sheer basic information in an effort to bring clarity. Uh, without clarity, you know, we usually get caught up in a mistake, misconception, and misrepresentation. 
without clarity. Yeah, man. So, again, I am just a presenter, the messenger. Yeah, and the man will literally walk through that fire. However, I'm irrelevant. Pay attention to the information being shared. Scrutinize the information. Yeah, man. Qualify that information. Yeah, man. I move forward. Again, the brave may fall but never yield. We said bold and brave, firm and strong. Salute our who walk, Indian nation in America. 